Hello students, this is Mr. Kowalski here uh, to tell you today about how to use uh, Read Theory, how to get up and running in it. So what you're going to want to do first is go to readtheory.org right here. Uh, it's very simple. Then what you need to do is uh, initially sign up for an account. So if you have not done that yet, go to sign up in the upper right corner here and you will sign up as a, as a student. The easiest thing to do is to sign up with Google with whatever Google your Google account you're logged into, so mine is over here. Uh, so, if you are logged into Google, that's very easy. You just sign in with Google, sign up with Google, and you'll click on that. Uh, as you can see, I've already got my uh, account registered. If you do not want to do that, or if you uh, cannot for any reason log in using that, you can always sign up as a student and then create your own account. So you could go with any username, I'll say Mr. Kowalski, and then you're going to have to make a password. So uh, something, okay, like that, and then you'll hit sign up. Now I'm not going to do that because uh, I didn't pay attention to what I just typed in. Uh, if you already have an account and you don't need to sign up but you forgot it, go to log in. And probably, if you are uh, if you already registered with Google, you can just log in with Google, and that'll just take save you all that time. Uh, if you did not log in with Google, the one thing you can do is you can go to uh, your username. If you don't remember what your username was, uh, very often some people use their uh, first and last name. So for me again, Mr. Kowalski. And then uh, if you don't remember your password. You could just click, I forgot my password, and that'll take you to where you need to go. So you put in the username again. There, and it'll send an email. Of course, this does not exist because uh, I did not set up an account there. I'll go back to login. Uh, if you forgot your username, you click on forgot username, and then you can enter the email address that you probably used. So again, that Google email, if, uh, if that's what you used. Okay. Once you get into Google, uh, into Read Theory, so we'll just go in really quick here, and log in using Google. Uh, you'll see that you can have, I don't know who a lot of these people are, uh, but you can, you will uh, see your classes and your things. Obviously, I have a teacher account, so it'll look a little bit different for me. Uh, but that is basically the gist of it. I'll make another video on how to add me as your teacher in a couple minutes here, so uh, sit tight for that. All right, all right, see you soon.